Hello, this is Sarah Meehan with Concentris. Today I am bringing you a short and sweet video for subsidiary hierarchy modification. So this is a common request in scenarios where you are either making acquisitions or dividing up business units and you need to adjust the existing subsidiary hierarchy st structure as it's been built out in your NetSuite environment. Previously, this is something that you actually had to reach out to NetSuite support to enable, but in a recent release, they actually opened up the capability to allow you to set this as a preference so that you're able to make the adjustments that you need for a specified window of time. So just to show you what the experience is like without this file turned on, I'm going to go ahead and edit a subsidiary record. And what you'll notice is the sub subsidiary of, so the parent subsidiary field is display only. I can't make any modifications. However, if I come to set up company, general preferences, there is now a new field labeled allow subsidiary hierarchy to be modified with a maximum of 30 days. And this is a date field. So you're able to set the window of time that a person can make adjustments, assuming that they have permission. So in our example, I'm gonna just push this out to tomorrow. It will pop up a legal notice. Definitely review this. There are some potential impacts, financial impacts to making this adjustment. So you just wanna make sure that you are aware of what the potential impacts are before you make this change. Once you've reviewed, go ahead and hit accept and save. And once this is saved, if I come back to my subsidiary record and refresh, I will now have access to editing that sub subsidiary of field. So in this case, I'm gonna move it out from underneath the headquarters subsidiary and move it below the Americas subsidiary. Once again, anytime you are making a change, it will prompt you to review the legal notice. Click accept and save. And once this reloads, I will see that my Canada subsidiary is now nested underneath the headquarters Americas sub subsidiary. So there it is. So again, once again, this is extremely helpful in you know, restructuring type scenarios, acquisitions, things like that. Definitely be sure that you are aware of the impact. And I highly, highly recommend testing this in Sandbox before trying to make any changes in your production environment and reviewing all of your financial reporting so that you understand how the, all of that will be impacted before doing anything in your live environment. Hopefully you found that helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.